Find out about the ongoing saga between AOC, Bush, and also the fight with Biden to extend your unemployment benefits. Find out which city in California has the lowest unemployment rate, how one state is planning on replenishing unemployment insurance funds so they don't run out. I'm going to talk to you about how states could run out, and I don't want you to lose out. Which industry is still struggling to find workers despite an unemployment decrease? And see how a woman is fighting for higher wages, tooth and nail, literally, to get higher wages. Uh, hey, everybody, it's Andrew Carr right here. I hope you're having a splendid Saturday. Here's your unemployment update for Saturday, October 23rd, 2021. My goal in this video, these videos is to give you the best access to government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. Stay tuned to the channel for personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto credit, and other investments to generate income, save you money. Also, I give away $2,000. I'm giving away $2,000. All you got to do to be part of the giveaway is subscribe, like, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and also throw a comment in there when we hit 200,000 subscribers with your love and your support and joining us we we don't bite so join us um we're gonna launch out that two thousand dollars so just put a comment in there so we can pick you and you can get two thousand dollars please also got my real estate program 99 dollar course ten thousand dollars worth of value information how to buy when to buy information is power and 45 million dollars i spent on learning all the mistakes so you don't have to when to buy how to buy market cycles even how to use how to get loans without even using your own credit. So make sure you check out that. Grab your two stocks of Weeble. And thank you so much to my patrons who support the channel for as little as three dollars a month. Five articles that we write for you a week, 20 a month, and also a look under the hood of my investments and direct contact with me. Also, we're gonna get into this now. So, all right. First, California has the highest unemployment rate in the nation as a whole. One city, however, is showing some you know, pretty decent unemployment numbers. The Bay Area city of Marin, which is an old stomping ground. I spent a lot of time there. In fact, that's where I met, um, what do you call it? George Lucas actually had dinner with him in Marin, which is where he lives. And, and uh, Skywalker uh, Ranch is there. So at any rate, it was a lot of fun. I get, went to dinner a few times with him. Uh, they show a lowest unemployment rate in the great state of California for the 11th month in a row. The city continues recovering, showing hope, not just for the West Coast, but for the nation as a whole. Marin Economic Forum Chief Economist Robert Eller um, said, quote, from the standpoint of the people that are available for work or are working, the unemployment rate is moving the right direction each month in Marin County. The city has a 3.6% unemployment rate in September. 3.6%, folks, that's incredible. With less than 5,000 people out of work, a massive drop from 4.4 in August, whole percent, it's, it continues to downwardly momentum, push, pressure to get people to all be working as we move into October. This is quite a difference from the time last year where there was 7%, which is double that, right? In order to be classified as unemployed, you'd have to be actively looking for a job within the last six months now. According to Eller, Quote, that brings up the question about whether or not people have moved away, people have just declined to not go back to work, or people have retired and moved out of the labor force. So there are a lot of different reasons that are still emerging, emerging in the data as uh, to why they're uh, observing relatively low levels of labor force. Over the United States, the U.S. sits at an unemployment rate of 4.8%. How many of you from California, I'd love to know um, what your thoughts are about that. Also, there's a big conversation, a big one, big momentum, calling this the great reassessment, where people reassess where they live, where they work, what they work on, and whether they should just retire and get out of the workforce altogether. Many people are even moving out of the country, out of the country, retiring. Saw an attorney that retired, they were on Made It, um, and literally retired overseas and lives over there off of just, you know, saved up half a million dollars, then retired, and living on in a place that's relatively low monthly. So a lot of displacement in the workforce. Meanwhile, another state is dealing with unemployment in a different way. It's Nevada, where I live, and we're planning on hiking up taxes in order to pay off unemployment insurance. The thing is, Nevada doesn't have a state tax. 
So where are the taxes being pulled from? You got to ask yourself. Well, once again, small businesses who definitely suffered during the pandemic might have to fork over some more cash in order to help the state pay off the expenses from unemployment. Randy Thompson with the Nevada chapter of Federation of Independent Businesses said, quote, in a time when we are paying higher wages, higher costs, we can't get people to work and we don't have good sales to support it. It's just the wrong time to increase taxes on small businesses, end quote. Thompson continued, quote, the state shut down. We didn't shut ourselves down. So the state needs to come up with a better idea of how to pay it back. And they have the funds to do so, end quote. Those who are opposing this proposition suggest we do have other states uh, are doing federal money from the American Rescue Plan. Federal stimulus funds are still available and we've just waiting on states to figure out what to do with them. And Nevada happens to be one of them. But uh, we do have a governor that does want to. He's been so dying to tax uh, people and businesses in Nevada and go after Nevada and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's very interesting. Surprised considering most people who moved here was for tax reasons. Next up, we're seeing restaurants struggle to find employees during a time of unemployment numbers, and they're actually looking good. Of course, as we've said before on the channel, these numbers don't paint that full picture. They currently don't illustrate what everyone is doing though. Texas, for example, shows that its unemployment numbers dropped to 5.6% last month. According to Han Su, and not, you know, um, who owns Hossel, uh, Hollingen restaurant China Star. Boy, that's a long name. In the Rio Grande Valley, quote, some people just come in and want information and how much per hour and everything and don't show up. Sometimes they come half days and then they go the rest and then they don't show up again, end quote. Sue apparently now has to close the restaurant every Tuesday due to the lack of staff. In all of my 40 years of being in the restaurant business, there is the most he's ever worked. Mm, Sue is just, yeah, that's gotta be tough. I'm curious to see if there are any small business owners watching these videos and if they're dealt with the same things. Are you, I know, see the, what most people don't realize is when it comes to an entrepreneur and owning a business, if someone slips out, most likely the owner is taking that spot. If the dishwasher leaves, the dishes aren't gonna wash themselves, they'll find themselves washing dishes. If a waiter leaves, they'll find themselves waiting tables. If a chef, co uh, if a cook doesn't show up, well, they're gonna have to be in the kitchen. That's just the bottom line for owning a business, which can, you know, if there are two or three positions that are open, well, then you just have to shut down your business because you can't support people. Otherwise, you'll get bad reviews and it'll be ugly. Finally, let's talk about one worker who is standing up against her employer demanding higher wages. Jennifer Bates in Birmingham, Alabama, got a job paying $15 an hour for Amazon. Now she's putting a lot of pressure on the giant company. Bates ended up becoming the face of the fight to unionize within the Amazon warehouse. In fact, back in March of this year, she stood in front of Bernie Sanders to further get her point across. Not only did she call out the low pay, she also said the working conditions were, weren't great. According to her, the massive warehouse gave them uh, access to the elevator where they would be able to comfortably ascend the building. Yet, their employers made them take the stairs. She also said that Amazon watched you work like a hawk. And at the moment you entered the building, you scan your badge, these employers are being overworked and underpaid, basically low wages and high quotas. A vote on whether to allow them to unionize happens, happened and the employees lost the vote, 700 to 1700. <coughs> Some suggest Amazon may have tipped the scales a little bit. In any case, she is confident that the fight isn't over. I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts on this one. Should they unionize? Should, I, should they be? Will we see that in, you know, what you get as far as deliveries and so forth? Such an efficient system. If you still haven't applied for unemployment assistance, make sure you do. Oh, also the saga with uh, AOC and Bush still is on trying to convince Biden 
in order to go ahead and extend those unemployment benefits ongoing. Um, there's been deve little development, but uh, there's still fight between the two uh, sides. And also the progressives and the moderate Democrats are both fighting as well. Uh, as the progressive Democrats want more unemployment and the moderates do not, they're more conservative, so they don't see these enhanced unemployment benefits as necessary. If you still haven't applied for unemployment assistance, get a head start on the weekend. Most states, all states, the basic universal, the basic unemployment is always available for 26 or 27 weeks. If you legitimately don't have a job and didn't like just quit, right? Upload your employment history, your ID, and fill out your application as genuinely as possible and to the best of your ability. Just be honest and truthful in filling out that application. You could also get a backdated check for all the weeks that you missed if you didn't file, and you could get a check for thousands of dollars. Although the PUA system is a fight, AOC and Bush are also fighting to put this in place and trying to get Biden on that side, saying that relatively speaking, that times have changed. 1099 independent workers like Lyft, Uber, DoorDash, FedEx, and even Amazon drivers are independent drivers. So they want to be able to provide independent workers that file 1099 uh, the ability to get access to the PUA funds into the future. So we'll see what happens there. At the current moment, it's still closed. Hopefully we'll see it, the program pop up again for those gig workers, self-employed independent contractors. 1099s, people with side hustle and volunteers. Please keep sharing your experience with the UI, unemployment benefits in your state. Please be safe out there. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you.